Don't they know Chef Death holds the keys to the kitchen? If it wasn't for me, this country be lost. When times are tight, those prison burritos will keep you warm. Fed your children in their darkest of times. Say what you want, but prison meals save lives. Now allow me, Mr. Chef Death himself, to review these heroes in action. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave if you enjoyed. At Authentic TC. Have you ever been to lockup? If you ain't been to prison, then that shit damn sure ain't authentic. LED Light Gang tries prison food. <laughs> they must like LED lights. Me and the Lead Light Gang made a prison burrito, and me and you about to try it right now. Don't go to prison! Ooh, I've been waiting to try! Ooh, mate, <laughs> you got on clothes? You ready? Ooh, I'm gonna give me the beef jerky piece. Mm -hmm. Young Tenderone! It's smack? Is it bussin' bussin'? If she's gotta think about it, she's in shock. She's saying, how could something that looks like a bowl of vomit taste so good? LED light gang jank. Sheesh! Not bad. Let me see if it's bussin' bussin'. Why did I lick my lips while she was eating that jank? <laughs> we got to whip one of these up later on this week, y'all. Let me know in the comment section you want me to whip up a new personal pan prison pizza. But, you know, at Authentic TC, she did use some authentic words. Young tenderoni. <laughs> Damn, is that ham? Muslim cats on the tier can smell that shit from my way. They're getting headaches and everything. Goodness gracious. Man, them things look like some damn tilapia burritos or something. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like he has damn pico de gallo on top of that shit, man. I'm starving, y'all. I'm gonna have to go get me a breakfast burrito from McDonald's. But I gotta have like five of them to, to fill me up in prison. You know what? I've realized why people love prison burritos so much. Opening up the bag is kind of like a gift. You just don't know if it's gonna come together nicely when you open it up or fall apart. It's a mystery. You know, and it's kind of exciting with a little bit of uh, satisfaction, you know, opening up and seeing a perfectly well molded brick. Oh, and by the way, for any of y'all that don't know or didn't understand the intro, bricks, spreads, uh, damn, what do we used to call them? Swoles, shit, I forgot my own damn way of calling them. All kinds of different names, but it's meant for cooking these kind of style meals, prison style meals. Dude, you didn't even show them eating. They didn't show the inside of it. That was probably just a bunch of damn Doritos balled up in some water. And entitled it a prison video for views. Random. Randoms X69. I should have known with a name like that. Good morning, y'all. Uh, what I got here is a couple chimichangas. Chicken chimichangas with some ranch on it. I guess. Good morning, y'all. Coming from Highway 266, Channel 15. We got some Smokies near Exit 13B, and I got these hot chimichangas. Got some uh, cut up apples and some peanut butter. Good way to start the day off. Uh, appreciate y'all for viewing. Got that fool got chimichangas first thing in the morning? How the hell does this happen? They gotta be some breakfast janks. Someone commented he looks sad at the end. I don't know. <laughs> oh god, what does he look like at the end? Day off. Uh, Appreciate y'all for viewing. God bless y'all. Stay flexing. He didn't look sad, man. He just looks tired. He woke up for y'all damn ass crack at dawn and whipped up some damn chimichangas. Hit that like button for that guy, man. What's his name? At JJJEager89. He's eager, man. He's ready. He's willing. Can you imagine, though, if he has a cellmate and he's prepping for this video? Like, like 3.30 in the morning whipping up chimichangas? 
I've had a Sully do weird shit in the middle of the night. Not weird shit, he just want to do all kinds of stuff, you know, like, fix his ink pen. Why the hell you want to fix your contraband ass ink pen at three in the morning? One of them damn calligraphy pens, you know what I mean? The real, real shits. Guy used to write letters like George Washington. My dad made prison style burritos, is that what it said? Mmm, those already looking nice. Got the pepperoni, got the ham. They look good, but that shit, man, ruined it with them pineapples. That's like that sweet and sour chicken that Asian cats make in prison, man. Uh, this sweet shit. What was it? Some kind of sweet drink to make the sauce. And it just, it tasted just like the damn drink. It didn't taste like no sweet and sour chicken. Tang. That's what it was. It was called Tang. Let me rewind this. I'm going to teach y'all a thing or two right here, okay? He didn't put enough of the the stuff on there, so the tortillas ain't sticking. What old Chef Death does to get those flaps to stick to the other tortilla is spread a little cheese spread. It works as glue. Take a closer look. The flaps just keep coming undone. Cheese it, man. Cheese that money. Welcome back to Cooking with a Convict. Today... I got a special little treat for you guys. I'm gonna make you the best prison cake you can get in there. I didn't eat too many sweets in prison besides a white face honey bun. My favorite, white face, gotta be white face, which is icing. You know, the honey buns with icing. We call them white faces in prison. George Washington's. <laughs> All you're gonna need is some cookies, ones with the filling in the middle because you're gonna take that filling out and use it as an icing. You're gonna crush all these up to make the base. This is gonna be for filling, for filling, and for our lava cakes. Gonna need that, saran wrap, couple bowls, and some non-dairy coffee creamer. I'm about to show you guys right now. First thing you wanna do is you wanna get your Oreos, you wanna split them apart like this, take the cream, put the cream in a regular bowl, and put all the cookies back into this one. So when you're done separating, you want all the cookies over here, all the cream right here, and you wanna take about six, uh, six of these cookies, add them in there with that because these are all going to be smashed together. That's going to act as our form, as our cake. All right, y'all, I'm already running out of time. So what you want to do is crush these cookies as good as you can and come back for part two. You Welcome son back of a to cooking with you piece of sh This is why I don't like watching Cooking with Convicts, man. Part two, bro. I'm going to have to search for a part two now. 687,000 followers. Come on, man. Let me get a shout out. I'll shout you out too, bro. Let's watch part two. Let's try and find it. Water, just add a little bit at a time. Add some creamer to it. Next, put a little bit of water on your pie pan. Put your saran wrap on there just like that. Put your dough in the bottom and you spread it all out, but make sure you leave some dough so you can cover the top of it with it. Now you got to form like that, run the edges, put your creamer in there. Now you got spread, take your extra, cover the top. Well, I fucked it all up. I didn't leave enough dough, you bastard. But it's still going to work and it's still going to taste good. Next, take the saran wrap, fold it on over. Now with the ice cake, you need ice. You put it in a bag of ice and you let it get really cold. But I'm going to put it in the freezer and make it quicker. Now that it's done, you pull it straight out the saran wrap and cut it into slices. Now that it's done, you pull it straight out the saran wrap just like that. Cut it in eight pieces, link and bio for the knife. I'm trying to figure out what the hell this is. Is this some kind of noodles that he just like smoothed together into one little ball? Yeah, look. Those can't be ramens because the ramens, they come out already, you know, scriggly and stuff. So how the hell is he straighten them out like that? Those got to be some special noodles, man. I don't know what the hell those are, but this shit looks good, man. Food. What did he say? Prison food? Guy looks like Kyle a little bit, don't he? Heck, guys, I'm making some prison food. First thing, smash some pot. 
But when you smash some pot, she smash up really good. They don't have a can on prison, but what? Yeah, you still can use this. Oh, I think this guy might have a speech impediment. I wasn't sure what he said, but I think he said candle. Why is he using a toaster to smash it? Then he's using a candle. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you want to break your noodle up the penitentiary way, throw that shit on the ground or throw it at someone's head. Jokes, jokes. Don't throw nothing at nobody's head. It's just a joke. If you're at home, not in prison. Yeah, put this in the bowl. Now smash the woman up. Look, first off, God, he got, he's got the microwave now. Hold on, man. Use a map. Oh my god, this guy's losing it. Look at them damn Cheetos. They're nowhere near broken up enough. When you attempt to make these meals, these Cheetos have to be like dust. They have to be like dust, ladies and gentlemen. So crush them up all the way. Use a microwave to smash it. Damn, dude. Is this dude joking us now? Is he joking us cooking prison meals? Is that what he's doing? What the hell is that? I've never... Is that a damn PlayStation TV? Hold on, old Kyle. You need to sell that. Put that shit on let go. Let old death buy it. But how dare you use that shit to smash up a ramen? Don't you know who you're talking to? I'm the ambassador. Use a TV to smash it. Put the ramen in the bowl. Did I hear a payphone? Does he got a pay... F I mean, uh, a landline? Shit. Put the ramen in the bowl. <laughs> Put some hot water in the bowl. Open the packet and put it in the bowl. Now we mix it. I go eat this now. Follow oh, me for more no. videos. No. No, man. No, no, no. Ain't no way this guy's been to penitentiary eating a wet, nasty looking, soggy damn noodle like that. That's disgusting to me. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute every last one of you who've been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound, y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.